Amazon, Jefferson here with Swimming Gang Productions. And in this video, we'll be reviewing this guy right here. This is just the basic kitchen timer. I really like how simple, straightforward it is, and it's extremely easy to use. So this is how it looks like right here, and it pretty much works right out of the box. The only bad thing about this is that it accepts two AAA batteries that are not included, but considering the price, it's not that bad. You could just pick up AAA batteries from the Dollar Center. And since it uses a very basic digital LCD monitor right here, it doesn't consume too much power and it pretty much stays on. And when you're not using it, it would just turn off by itself after 10 minutes. So there's a quite a bit of a time difference right there, but it's pretty nice to know that you could always just use it and it won't consume that much power. So let me show you how it works. It pretty much just works exactly how it should. So let's say you want five minutes, five zero zero, click start and that's it. It is super easy to use, you guys could see. I think the other thing about the display is that you do have to get a good, I guess, view on there because it's not backlit or anything, it's just monotone. This is all you get. So depending on where you're looking at it, if it's in a dark room, you do have to light it up to see it a little bit easier. But if you're in a kitchen like where we are right now, it won't be that bad. You can pause it by pressing this and it will pause your timer. And if you want it to start again or resume, just click start and it just starts right away. The display is really easy to read as well. Here is your minutes and obviously here are your seconds. It's counting down. If you want to reset everything, just double click this button right here and it resets right away. This can also count up. So just press start and it starts counting up which is a very, very useful, I think, option to have or feature because there are numerous times, especially when I'm cooking, and I'm not too sure how long I wanna cook it, but I did want to measure the time, uh, then you could just start counting, and if you wanna stop it, stop it, reset it by pressing it again. There are three different ways to mount or at least prop this up. You have a little pinhole right here and you could hang this on a wall, wherever. You also have a magnet right here you could just place on your oven. Obviously, you could put it in your refrigerator as well. It just really depends where you want it. And there is a clip right here so you could hang this on something, either on your jacket or whatever. And last but not least, I guess I should say four options because the fourth one is when you clip it, there is a little tab right here and when you let go, it acts like a stand. So you can just put it on your countertop and it works just the same. I really like how straightforward, very simple, very easy this timer is. All right, so I'm going to show you how loud the alarm is. The first time it actually goes off, it's not going to be that loud, but when you leave it alone, it will get louder and louder, which is definitely useful, especially if you can't really hear it and you are in a room that's a little bit further from your kitchen, it will gradually increase. So let's put five seconds, click start, and just listen to how it sounds. And obviously to stop the timer or the alarm, just click stop and you are good to go. That's pretty much it about this timer. If you guys have any questions or comment, put them in the comment box below and I'll try my best to answer any questions you may have. If you like this video or if you just found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. It would help out my channel a lot. Like always, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day how it has a closure where it looks like it's just super seamless you cannot tell and if you want to pull it out you just